If you've ever tried building anything more complex than a basic blog in WordPress, you've probably hit that moment where you stop and think, which custom fields plugin should I actually be using? Suddenly you're looking at names like Advanced Custom Fields, Toolset, Pods, Metabox, Jet Engine, and now ACPT. They all promise to solve similar problems, but once you start using them, they feel very, very different. In this video, I'm going to walk through what each of these plugins actually does, where they shine, where they may fall down, and most importantly, who each one is really for. There's no sales picture, no single best answer. It's about understanding trade-offs and choosing the tool that fits how you want to work. At a high level, all of these plugins exist because WordPress wasn't originally designed for structured data. Posts and pages work fine until you need custom fields, repeatable content, relationships between that content, or dynamic layouts. Every plugin in this list solves that problem, but they do it with very different philosophies. Some are developer first, some are builder first, and some try to be complete platforms. So let's start with the one most people already know and usually start with, Advanced Custom Fields or ACF. ACF focuses on doing one thing extremely well, adding structured data to WordPress in a way that feels native, predictable, and stable. You create field groups, attach them to content using location rules, and then decide how that data gets displayed. ACF stays out of your way and doesn't try to control templates or layouts. The difference, though, between ACF Free and ACF Pro is what really matters. Free ACF gives you the fundamentals, things like text fields, selects, checkboxes, images, files, and basic relationships. For a lot of sites, especially brochure sites or simple content builds, that's genuinely enough. Now, ACF Pro is where things scale up. It adds repeater fields, flexible content, and options pages. Repeaters are essential for anything with repeated data, like featured lists or FAQs. Flexible content lets you build modular content structures that many developers use as a custom alternative to a page builder. Options pages let you create global setting areas inside of WordPress. Now, one important limitation to understand is that both ACF Free and Pro store data using WordPress's native database structure, like your post meta and term meta. Now, that's great for compatibility, but on very large sites with huge volumes of custom field data, it can lead to performance issues. There are third-party plugins that let ACF store data in custom database tables, which does help scale, but that adds extra licenses, costs, and complexity to your project. ACF's biggest strength, though, is its reliability and ecosystem support. It integrates cleanly with Gutenberg, Elementor, Bricks, and custom PHP templates, and most developers already know how to work with it. Its main weakness, though, is it's intentional. It doesn't provide front-end listings or visual query builders. You bring your own display layer, so things like Bricks and so on. Now, on the flip side, Toolset takes a very different approach. Toolset isn't just about fields. It's a complete system designed to handle content types, relationships, queries, and front-end templates all in one ecosystem. Now, Toolset shines when you're building complex, content-heavy sites like directories or membership platforms. It has a strong relationship handling, includes many-to-many -many relationships, and built-in tools for building views and loops without writing any kind of code. The upside is completeness. The downside is complexity and potential lock-in. Toolset has its own templating logic and workflow, and once your site is built around it, while well, moving away later can be pretty difficult. It can also feel like Toolset wants to be the center of your workflow, which can clash if you prefer tools like Bricks or Full Site Editing to stay in complete control of the design. Now, Pods is a quiet powerhouse. It's free, open source, and extremely capable. Now, Pods excels at custom post types, taxonomies, fields, and advanced relationships. It also supports more advanced setups like custom database tables in certain scenarios, which makes it attractive for large or performance sensitive websites. The trade off, though, is usability. Pods assumes you understand WordPress concepts fairly well. The UI is functional rather than polished, and the ecosystem is much smaller than ACFs. The differentiator is power without license costs. If you're comfortable with a more technical workflow, Pods can handle very serious projects for you without any kind of cost involved. Before we move on, let's take a moment to have a message from today's video sponsor, OmniSend. Now, if you're looking for solid email marketing platform for your e-commerce store, look no further than OmniSend. Getting started is an absolute breeze. 
They offer some of the most affordable pricing on the market, and you can start with their free plan and experience premium features without spending a penny. It's the best quality to cost ratio you'll find anywhere. If you need help, rest assured, with OmniSend's award-winning customer support, you're always a priority. It's available 24-7, 365 days a year, and you'll get a response in less than three minutes, making you feel valued and important. Now don't just take my word for it, OmniSend is a top-rated platform. With unbeatable pricing, powerful features, and exceptional support, the reviews speak for themselves. If you're ready to elevate your email marketing game, OmniSend is here to help. You can try OmniSend today and discover why they're the best choice for your e-commerce business. With unbeatable pricing, powerful features, and exceptional support. Link in the description down below. Now let's flip over to Metabox. This sits in between ACF and Pods philosophically. But over the last few years, it's quietly gained a lot more traction, especially among developers and agencies building modern WordPress sites. Metabox is a modular framework rather than a single all-in-one plugin. You enable only the features you need. Fields, relationships, custom tables, REST support, admin tools, and much more. The modular approach keeps sites lean and avoids loading features that you just don't actually use or need in a project. Now, one of Metabox's biggest strengths is performance and scalability. So unlike ACF, Metabox natively supports storing custom field data in custom database tables, which can make a real difference on large or data-heavy sites, much like what you can do with pods. For developers thinking about long-term growth, this is a major advantage and something you have to take into consideration. Another important change over the last few years is the ecosystem support. Metabox now has native integration with tools like Bricks Builder, meaning Bricks can work directly with Metabox fields without hacks or workarounds. And that's a big deal for Bricks users like myself because it positions Metabox as a first-class citizen in a modern performance-focused builder workflow, something that Bricks brings to us. Now, on top of that, Metabox has been actively improving its admin UI to feel more native to WordPress. Earlier versions felt very developer-centric, but recent updates align more closely with WordPress core patterns and block era workflows. As full-site editing becomes more common, this tighter alignment makes Metabox feel less like a separate system and more like a natural extension of WordPress itself. This, again, is something that I think you can't overlook, especially if you hand off to clients. It kind of feels like everything is connected. The trade-off, though, is a little bit of complexity. Metabox expects more understanding up front. It's not a visual listing builder, and it doesn't try to be no code. It gives you powerful building blocks and expects you to assemble the system thoughtfully. The differentiator, though, for Metabox today is architectural control with growing ecosystem support, especially for Bricks users who want performance flexibility and long-term scalability. Now let's talk about ACPT or Advanced Custom Post Types. It takes a different angle yet again. It's newer but very deliberately focused on improving the workflow of managing post types, taxonomies, and fields without overwhelming the user. ACPT's biggest strength is how well it integrates across the WordPress ecosystem. It offers native support for a wide range of paid builders and themes, including Gutenberg, Elemental, Bricks, Oxygen, and many popular WordPress themes, including Bloxy. Now, that means you're not locked into a single builder or display system when you use it. Again, something you can't underestimate. Now, in practical terms, ACPT acts as a clean central layer for structured content while letting you choose how and where that content is displayed. Whether you're using a page builder, full site editing, or theme templates, ACPT is designed to slot into that workflow without any kind of friction. The UI is focused on clarity. You define post types, add fields, organize them logically, and move on. There's less mental overhead compared to juggling multiple plugins or extensions, something that some of the other tools we talk about today actually have. The downside, though, is maturity. ACPT doesn't yet have the depth of ecosystem gravity or long-term track record of some of the older tools like ACF or Metabox. So for extremely advanced data modeling or performance-heavy enterprise sites, it may not be enough on its own. The differentiator for ACPT, though, is builder agnostic simplicity. It's designed for site builders who want structured content without committing to a full platform or a deeply technical setup. Now let's talk about Jet Engine. It's the most builder first plugin on this list, and it's also the one evolving probably the fastest. Jet Engine isn't just a custom fields plugin, it's a dynamic content system built for visual builders, especially Elemental, and increasingly for Bricks Builder. 
Now, Jet Engine lets you create post types, fields, relationships, and then immediately build dynamic listings, queries, and templates visually. That alone makes it very appealing for directories, portals, and marketing sites. But what's changed recently is Jet Engine's push into AI assisted workflows. It now includes tools that let you describe a site structure in plain language and generate post types, fields, relationships, queries, and start on listings automatically. It also includes the Command Center and MCP Servo, which allows AI to understand your site structure safely and generate more context aware output directly inside WordPress. Now, these AI tools don't replace an understanding of Jet Engine, but they can significantly speed up repetitive tasks and reduce friction when setting up complex builds. The trade offs are added complexity, extra configuration, and tighter coupling to the builder ecosystem. Now, Jet Engine Differentiator has shifted from being just a dynamic content plugin to become a builder centric AI assisted platform designed to accelerate complex site builds. So, when you step back, the pattern becomes pretty clear. If you're leaning into core WordPress, full site editing, or Bricks Builder, feels first plugins like ACF and Metabox tend to feel the cleanest and most future proof. Pods kind of fits in here too if you're comfortable with a more technical approach. But if you're deep into Elementor, Jet Engine feels purpose built. Toolset sits slightly outside both counts because it wants to control both the data and the display of that data. So the key takeaway here is there is no single best platform. Each tool is optimized for a different way of working. The mistake people make is choosing based on feature lists instead of choosing based on workflow, maintainability, and long-term flexibility. Now, if this breakdown helps, let me know in the comments which plugin you're using and what you're building with it. And if you want deeper tutorials, especially around bricks and structured content using any of these kinds of tools, well, drop a comment down below. As always, all applicable links are in the details down below. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tats, and until next time, take care.